China stamps fortification along the Pangong Lake with new division level headquarters. China has established a new division level headquarters equipped to support its forward deployment with troop weapons and air defense right along the Pangong Lake. Uh, these are images on your screen right now that uh, we are bringing to you right now. The satellite images independently sourced by India today corroborate these findings and show new structures did continue to show up on the north bank as recently as last month indicating the Chinese ongoing expansion of the infrastructure in the vicinity. Take a look closely on these satellite images on your screen right now. Shows that there is definitely concrete infrastructure that, uh, that China is trying to make. It's, it's sort of a fortification of that area along the Pangong Lake with the new division level headquarters. Supported by forward deployment with troops, weapons, air defense right along the lake. And this appears to be a serious development. Uh, this remember, just to add to you that uh, these are satellite images but independently sourced by India today and corroborate the findings showing that the structures continue to show up across the North Bank area. Situation has been tense at the border. What happened in the past few days? Indian and the Chinese troops clashed in the Tawang sector in Arunachal Pradesh on 9th of December. Soldiers from both sides were injured in the clash and sources are now telling India today that more than 300 Chinese soldiers tried to get access to the top of the 17,000 feet peak but they were thwarted by the Indian Army Jawans. This re report tells you more about what exactly happened after the clash. One of India's most hostile battlefields, nearly 17,000 feet high in the Himalayas of Arunachal Pradesh. It is here, late in the morning of December the 9th, that Indian and Chinese soldiers clashed violently. The first violence between the two sides in over two years since the last major brawl in eastern Ladakh. The Friday clash in Tawang sector had been building up for the last few months, say sources. Chinese troop increases at posts across this particular sector of Arunachal Pradesh have kept tensions high. On December the 9th, a larger than normal Chinese patrol party approached the Indian side and was challenged by the Indian army post there. After a few minutes of aggressive posturing, raised voices and the usual loud calls to go back, suddenly stones landed on the Indian side, a grave provocation that violates patrol engagement protocol. What followed was a 15-minute hand-to-hand escalation that saw the Indian side literally pounce on the Chinese troops responsible for the provocation. The Chinese troops present in larger numbers were beaten up, but as is common in such brawls, injuries were sustained by both sides. Troops on both sides sustained fractures, black eyes and bruises, with 9 Indian and 22 Chinese troops wounded in the exchange. Thankfully, there were no casualties and no weapons are said to have been used, unlike the Galwan clash. The troops quickly disengaged their positions. Hours after the clash in Yangtze, the two local commanders from both sides held a flag meeting to maintain peace and committed to remain engaged. On the very day that the Indian and Chinese troops brawled at the India-Tibet border, senior ministers of the Modi government were speaking about the border issue at the Agenda Art the Conclave. और हमारी डिप्लॉयमेंट हुई है हमारे जवान खड़े हैं और माने उनका जो 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 ताकत जो साहस जो उन्होंने दिखाया है उसकी हमें प्रशंसा करनी चाहिए क्योंकि हमारी डिप्लोमेसी जो है उनके उनके योगदान से चलती है भारत की सेना ने ये शौर्य और पराक्रम का परिचय दिया है उसकी जीतनी भी सराहना की जाए कम है हम लोगों का सचमुच गर्व के साथ मस्तक ऊंचा हो जाता है Clashes between patrol parties aren't unheard of. There have been a handful of minor brawls between troops of both sides since 2020. But the fact that the big picture hasn't changed even slightly on the border and that China continues to remain deployed in larger numbers at India's doorstep and has accelerated the construction of permanent infrastructure, settlements, military establishments and more, every brawl projects a threat way beyond just a few men beating each other up on a remote, snow-blown hillside. Bureau Report, India Today. 
So let's try and put this in perspective and get more details on that. I'm joined now in this telecast by my colleague Abhishek Bhalla for the latest on that. Uh, Abhishek, you had reported about the 2020 Galwan clash as well. This time, what are you picking up? Was there a build-up? Was this a sudden clash? What exactly happened on the border? While a disengagement has taken place uh, and there has been no uh, clash uh, since uh, December 9, uh, but things uh, still are pretty volatile, considering the fact that, uh, uh, you know, a clash of uh, this nature has taken place, there was... Uh, an enhanced forward deployment uh, by the Chinese, and there was a build-up. It's not something that's happened uh, uh, all of a sudden on December 9. Uh, there was a build-up uh, over the last two weeks, I've been told. Sources say that for the last 15, 16 days, uh, you know, the Chinese uh, were making uh, incursions. The Indian side was trying to stop them, and in the middle of all this, uh, there, there was a constant dialogue going on between the commanders of the two sides. But because there is a lot of trust deficit uh, since uh, 2022, uh, since things have gone out of hand in uh, Ladakh and the tussle continues over there, uh, you know, the Indians were taken by surprise uh, when the Chinese came in bigger numbers. And that's exactly what uh, led to the clash. Uh, there was uh, stone pelting from the periphery. I've been told that uh, there were about... Uh, uh, 300 uh, soldiers uh, that were part of the forward deployment. So that's a big number and uh, that's the reason why things really got out of hand. Abhishek, also just to ask you here that uh, the location appears to be Yangtze. Uh, can you tell us more about this area? Have there been more such incidents or such clashes or scuffles before in Yangtze, Abhishek? Well, the point of confrontation, uh, which is Yangtze, about 20-25 uh, kilometers uh, from Tawang, is not new uh, to such face-offs. Uh, it's, it's one of the flashpoints, one of the sensitive, rather one of the disputed areas uh, between India and China. Uh, so uh, it has seen several face-offs uh, like this. Uh, but uh, the kind of uh, uh, deployment that the Chinese have been doing uh, over the last few years here uh, is what uh, has uh, uh, you know, made India extremely wary of uh, the larger Chinese design. We all know there has been an enhancement in infrastructure by the Chinese side. They are building uh, several integrated model villages. 600 of uh, these are planned uh, by the Chinese. And many of these are coming up opposite the Yangtze uh, area. And uh, that's the reason why uh, there, ha there is a huge thrust by the Indian side on uh, enhanced surveillance. Uh, the Army aviation uh, has been uh, ramping up its capabilities. Uh, drones have been uh, deployed in the area, and that's the reason why this kind of uh, forward deployment was, in fact, uh, uh, you know, caught by the Indian side. And because uh, the Indian troops were able to, uh, to were able to intercept uh, uh, these these uh, forward movements, is the reason why a larger inc incursion was thwarted.